Hello YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows 7 Beta Build 6801 in VirtualBox or VMware. This is the first beta um, operating system video that I've done for Windows 7, um, and this is part of the beta, of course. And um, in this build, it still had the uh, Vista kind of look to it but it was in the development of Windows 7 so you'll see it once we're finished with the install tutorial but let's just go ahead and get right into it you're going to need VirtualBox or VMware one of those two I'll go ahead and get with that one of those and once you do um, you're going to need WinRAR as well and you'll need the uh, ISO which will be in the description there will be a 32-bit and a 64-bit two different links in the description so now a virtual box and we're going to create a new virtual machine I'm just going to call Windows 7 build 6801 I'm going to do the 64-bit version and hit next I'm going to bump up my RAM a little bit and hit next we're going to create a virtual hard drive and then we'll go to settings storage empty disk and then go find the uh, Windows 7 ISO there it is hit OK and then start so it'll start the machine it'll do the little Windows is loading files thing and you'll see that it has a little bit of a different uh, boot screen once this is finished loading you'll see as of right now it'll have like a Vista type boot screen and it'll look different once the setup is all finished but the background in here looks different than the final version but I do like this one better I like this one as you can see it says Windows 7 build 6801 and it'll load up with the uh, language and keyboard format hit next and then install now it'll say please wait and then you'll have to accept the license and terms agreement for the Microsoft pre-release Windows 7 operating system then hit next, then go to custom, then make sure this is highlighted, and hit next. And now it's going to install Windows 7 build 6801. So this process can take some time. So I'm going to let this sit and I'll be back with you guys as soon as it is. Um, well, it's going to reboot a couple times. So I'll be back with you guys once it is uh, finished rebooting the last couple times and on to the next screen. Okay, so it's going to reboot and update registry settings, and then it should continue with the uh, the setup. It'll say setup is starting services, and it should go back into the setup. So it'll do that, and then uh, it'll it'll uh, reboot again. So just let it sit. And um, I just kind of want to show you guys what happens. There we go. Okay, so it'll do that for a little bit. So I'll just let it sit. I'll be back with you guys in a couple minutes. Right, so this should be the final time that it reboots. And you once again see the different loading screen. Um, the starting windows is higher up and it has a blue bar during the beta or during part of the beta and now it'll say setup is preparing for first use kinda just like what it was and now it's going to check video performance and and then it should load up into this screen then you type in the username Okay, 
and I'm just going to call this that. There we go. Hit next. I'm going to skip password. Hit next to skip the product key. Use recommended settings. Um, time zone next. Home network or work or public, whatever you need to select. And then after that, it will finalize and uh, go to, well you can skip this, that's what I'm going to do. Now it will finalize. And this is the ultimate edition, I guess, of beta. That's kind of all they had at the time. So it will finalize settings and then it will log you in. You'll see with the different background screen right there. And then it will... Uh, log you into Windows 7 and you'll see that it looks more like Windows Vista at the time of this build. Just hit ask me later on this and click OK. It'll load some more settings. So you'll see it has the uh, Windows Vista background and the bar will look like Vista and the start menu and everything else will look like Vista. Right there. You see it looks a lot like it. But if we go to start, right click on my computer and hit properties. It'll say it down there, but it also says it right here, Windows 7 Ultimate. 2007 is when this build was in. And um, so you got the internet, you got messages. Um, so there you go guys that is windows 7 build 6801 uh, thank you guys for watching this tutorial um, like this video if it helped you out and also um, comment ideas down below and share the video as well if it helped so that other people can see it so um, that's it don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel for more videos or if you uh, are new to the channel so once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.